upload an image to Cricut Design Space. To start with, we will click on the Upload button. Now you can see there's both an upload image and an upload pattern. We're going to focus on the images. We are going to upload an image file. It's going to either be a JPEG, GIF, or PNG file. You can see here that it does list SVG files. I have a different video for SVG files. I do want to point out uploading one of these first three styles of image to Design Space and save it as a cut file is not the same as saving an image as an SVG file. You can import an SVG file to Design Space, but you cannot create an SVG in Design Space because that has more data in it. So please look at my videos about SVG files specifically on that topic. Okay, we're going to upload the image. We're going to click Browse, and this lets us go to our computer where we keep our images. And I have all of mine in an image folder that is on my desktop. And then I have different categories because I've saved a lot of images. So now I'm going to go to Disney and I have one that I've used for other videos on the same topic. I'm going to use this Mickey Mouse hand. I feel like when you first start to use this process, you've seen a simple black and white or what I call coloring book style image is the easiest to start really learning the steps. So this is telling you that what you uploaded fits into one of these categories of image types. Okay, it's showing you a preview of the image. Now it's asking you is it a simple image, meaning black and white or other high contrast monochromatic colors, which ours is. Does it have a little bit of detail? And it even shows you little previews of examples of what they mean. So if it had a little bit of shading detail, we would ch pick this one. Now if it was really complex with lots of high detail and blended colors, we would want to pick this third option. But we're going to go with simple. And now we're going to go continue. So that brings us to this screen. And this is where you really clean up your image so that you can use it for a cutting file. There is an automatic um, background remover. And to use this feature, you need to be a member of the Cricut Access subscription. I am not. So I would have to do my free trial here, but I can do a preview. If I hit that preview, it does remove the background and the inner portion and just leave the black lines. It does look like it puts a Cricut watermark over the top of that too. I'm not sure since I don't have access if that's only because I do not have access. So I'm going to revert because I want to show you if you don't have Cricut access, how you can manually clean up this image. First off, I'm going to click over here and see that there is a crop feature. So if I wanted to crop in closer on this image, I could do that. I'm going to go back because I didn't really need that piece. Okay, perfect. So if I want to manually clean that up, I can use the magic wand to click on sections, but what I have found helps even more is go to the more options and scroll down here. It says reduce colors. Right now in this image, there are just two colors, black and white. So if I go here and change this to two colors, it really helps refine the edges. I know visually you didn't see that much of a difference, but when it's trying to pick up and detect where the color changes are, it really does help. 
So now I go select on the magic wand and I can click out here and it changes everything to a checkerboard. In the world of design and images creation, checkerboard means it's transparent. It means it's not there. So if I were to preview this cut image right now, it's going to cut all of this out. But I wanted to cut the inside also and just leave the black lines. So I still have magic wand selected and I'm going to select the white inside. Now preview my image and I can see that's exactly what it's going to cut. The border outline and those little inner pieces. If I wanted to erase sections, I could use the eraser and that brings in a little circle that allows me to erase things. But if I was trying to erase the background with this, I would have to go along that line myself. The magic wand in combination with that advanced feature really helped me hone in on the color changes. And then I don't have to worry about guiding this little eraser tool. If I didn't like something I had done on here, I could either click the back button to go back one step or restore and that restores your image to its original upload look. Once we're happy with how things look here, we want to hit apply and continue. This is the step that I believe confuses the most people in the Cricut world. You have two options. You can either save this as a cut image or save it as a print then cut. If you save it as a print then cut, it is going to want to send this to your home printer first. And then you'll put that printed image on your Cricut mat and it will then cut out these black lines. But if you just want to cut something from vinyl or cardstock and have it cut the color of cardstock or vinyl that you put on your cutting mat, you want to select a cutting image. That's 90% or more of your projects. You're going to want to select a cutting image. Up here, you can then name the image. I'm going to just call it Mickey Hand. This just makes it easier so when you're searching images, you can find this. If you wanted to tag it with different other words, glove, Mickey Mouse, then those would be searchable terms you could find. Now I'm going to go upload. And it's right there in my uploaded images. So now I can click on that and add that to my canvas. And now that image is in Cricut Design Space on our canvas so that we can use it for our design. I do want to state again that this is now a Cricut cutting image. It is not an SVG file. I know there are some sources that will tell you that this process that I just showed you is how to create an SVG in Design Space. But the truth is you cannot create an SVG file in Design Space. An SVG file contains data and information, including information on the color and the layers for an image. So please check out my video and resources on SVG files if that is what you want to learn to make. If not, just know this is how to upload an image to Cricut Design Space to save it as a cut file. And again, there is no way to make an SVG in Design Space. You need a different software for that. I love to hear from you. So make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and drop me a comment below. Thanks.